Hi guys, Todd here. Right, we're back again. The key fun. Uh, right, uh, now this arrived today. Uh, key fun 3.1. Um, now, for those of you that put up with my videos, just realised I've still got a scarf on. Uh, pop that over there. Um, those of you that watch my videos know that I'm a, a huge fan of the K-Fun. Uh, the K-Fun uh, 2.1, the Mini, <laughs> or <laughs> calling a K-Fun Mini anything is kind of comical, but the, the Mini, uh, the Eagle form factor if you like. And then uh, you've got the, the version 3 and 3.1 ES, which were more your 22mm uh, type atomizer. Uh, so I ordered it from uh, cloud9vaping.co.uk and uh, as always, uh, Keith and Lisa, a uh, brilliant service, uh, they, they handled the demand for this stuff very well I have to say, um, you know, if you're interested in anything that's coming along to Cloud9, uh, check out their products page and they have a mailing list where you can subscribe to specific things that are coming out. And that's the way they handle the demand for this product. Those people that have subscribed, basically they, they dealt with them in order, which is a great way of doing it. Uh, there's none of this F5, 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 you know, hunting stuff down. So, top marks to them. Um, now, this is everything that came. And... Uh, if it appears that I'm I'm not rushing through this, I'm just not going to be going into as much waffle as I usually do, because the version three um, that I did a full review of and breakdown, so much still applies. Um, the main difference with this is the version 3.1 is it now has the same filling method as you had with the version. 2.1 that you know um, the old K fun you used to have the K fun version 3 sorry if I'm getting confused with the versions here um, version 3 before basically had you had to unscrew this bottom section here and underneath was a, a little tiny screw and you undid that screw and you just got a needle and you just filled it now, a lot of people had different opinions on this, and uh, personally, considering that the thing held 5mm, or, well, got up to 15mm, I think, if you wanted it to, it, it never really bothered me. Um, so I'm just checking the finish on this, I've got a wee, a wee ding, that's a shame. Tiny wee dig in the bottom cap. I'll email the guys and see what they say to it. Uh, I'm not too worried. Service at Cloud Nine's bang on. Um, but this version has uh, a valve. This hole here, which we're going for a closer up look later. So essentially, you get with the kit, you get a a needle nose fill tip that you will stick in one of your plastic filling bottles um, and you fill it through that so you don't have to unscrew stuff or muck about to fill it up so that's that uh, all in that'll be my bliss uh, all in this cost 109.95 um, and then there was delivery on top uh, now Basically, with stop, I'm just a bit ahead of Laughlin. What we'll do is we'll get in about it, I'll show you a closer look, break it down, show you how to build it up, and we'll take it from there. Yes, I know it's a pink towel, but go easy on me. Uh, I just want to 
have a bit of a surface to work on. Right, everything you get. Uh, this little doodah doofree here is your 510 drip tip converter. Basically, you can unscrew the standard drip tip, like so, and screw in this one. which then enables you to put your own drip tips in there. Now let's see if we can get a bit of focus in here to sort this out. That'll do for just now. Okay, so that's what that guy's for. Um, I would suggest that you put an O-ring on that as well. Um, my only reason for just suggesting that is that uh, it looks like there is an area for an O-ring there. And you do get a pack of uh, separate O-rings and a couple of little screws there, replacement screws. So uh, I would put an O-ring on that as well. So that's that out of the way. That's your 510 drip tip converter if you don't want to use the standard one. Now, you will see here that this uh, is the media blasted version. Uh, there are three finishes to the, the K Fun this time. You've got a ceramic version, a brushed version, and a satin version. Um, so this is the basically the ceramic version that's got a heavier, heavy media blast to it. Uh, I got it because I was kind of hoping that it would go well with the finish on my dingo. But it's not the best, but uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. We'll sort that out at a later date. Um, you also get, as I said, you get a, a needle filler here. Now, this is for this section here. This is where you'll fill it. You'll fill it by sticking that in there. And, you know, this will be on your bottle of juice and you just squeeze and fill up. Now, never use a needle needle, if you like. Uh, only use these or a plastic tip. Uh, they do sell packs of five of these, uh, I do believe, in Cloud9 vaping. Uh, so I would suggest buying some more of these and, uh, you know, you don't want to be filling it up with anything else or you're in trouble. Um, you do also get a clear window section. Uh, essentially that means that you can take this bit out. Take this bit out as well. That's the first time I've opened this. Um, pop this in here. Like so. And you can have that finish as well, which I actually prefer. Uh, there you go, you can see the logo on the. You notice I never see it because I can't pronounce it. Uh, but anyway, um, right. So I'll stick with the clear tank just now, but let's break this down. Drip tip. Well, that's not a dripper, that's for sure. Mouthpiece. That off. Spot the O-rings in there. That O-ring is there for a very good reason. That's it. That's essentially your tank, if you like. Everything else here is uh, not tank related, but this is your tank. And don't forget, you have, you know, that section that can interchange. There are other upgrades available. Essentially, you can turn this into a behemoth, a monster, uh, to hold up to 15 mil of e-liquid by buying extra tanks and attachments and once again i believe cloud9 will be getting these in um i had that set up with my version 3 and 
I used it once for novelty factor. Uh, this, what you get here, is, uh, you know, I see this as much more usable on a daily basis. Uh, so, we'll, we'll take all this out of the way just now. And we'll concentrate on this. Now, this is where it all happens. Um, I'm going to take this up close. Now, essentially what happens is you put your e-liquid into here. The e-liquid travels into these channels. You've got a channel on each side. Okay, the channel goes inside, the e-liquid travels inside this chamber where your wicking coil is and you press the button, you heat it up and then the vapour travels up this chamber up here and there's your mouthpiece section and that plug, that you know, that sits in there like that normally and that's how you get your vapour. So inside this section, if we unscrew the top here, your little funnel, then we can unscrew this, and there you go. That's where it all happens. It's a beautiful piece of engineering, it really is. Now, uh, you can see there's your fill valve there and there's the hole where your juice is going to fill comes through there. The other thing to point out is this screw here is for adjusting the draw you know if you want a tight or loose draw basically the air gets drawn in that hole and this hole this screw you know blocks or opens that up so remember you can adjust your draw using this so if it starts whistling away like a loony when you first start, just tighten that down. Okay, uh, just to explain this as, as easy as I can, um, positive, and positive and negative terminals, uh, you're going to unscrew them and we're going to put a wick and coil arrangement in there. Key thing to point out, this is your air hole in the middle. You know, when you inhale, the air gets drawn up past your coil. Do not let your wick and coil touch this metal here because you'll end up getting shorts. Always make sure that you've pulled it up. That's the important thing here. Also, another important thing is when you have this tank on, now it, it is quite a tight space to work in. Your coil, your wick, not your wick, your silica wick is going to be lying in the bottom of that well. Okay? You do not want to block these channels. It's very important that you don't block the channels. The wick should just be sitting in the bottom, but not pushed down tight. Because if you block these off, then you're going to end up getting dry hits. So, another important thing. Right. Let's get it set up. Okay, here we go. Uh, right. Um, now, the recommended way to do this is basically take a bit of uh, silica wick and you fold it three times. Like that. So I'm a wee bit. So it's folded three times there. And that's the way they do it in the, the, the tutorial video. But I found, personally, I find that a bit footery. And uh, I just find the easiest way is to grab a bit of silica wick. Now I'm using 3ml here, which is quite large. Uh, you can use 2mm, it's entirely up to yourself. Um, so I've just grabbed the tail end of a bit of silica wick here and I'm just going to wrap the cantle wire around. Uh, 
and my usual, I'm just giving it four turns there. And you want to have one wire facing north and one front wire facing south. And I'm just going to trim these off to manageable lengths. So that's all I've got. Is that now? All you do is we're going to pop this across the terminals. Now a lot of people will want to do it like that, but I would suggest that you do it like this. So just unscrew this terminal a wee bit. Now, if I go out of shot here, it goes all messy. I'm really sorry. It's just uh, look at the state of my nails. That's one in. That's two in. I just want to go as tidied up a wee bit and then I have a tool somewhere and I'm just going to lift this up Because you want to make sure that you're not touching that air hole there. That's bad. Uh, you will get shorts and it will cause you problems. If you find, especially in like a Privari or, or any of those devices, if you start getting errors, that's what your problem is. You're, you're getting shorts at the bottom. You don't want to be touching that air hole. Um, right, now you've done that. Uh, Now, it looks like you've got a lot of wick there, but what I do, and this is, once again, this is what I do. Uh, you can always go and watch the the, pro <laughs> the proper video, is I gather up the ends and just feed them into the tube. And then screw the tube down. like so and you'll see that I've got a pile of excess around the top and all I do is cut that off and then I just tuck don't wedge it down I just gently push down the excess here into the spaces. Is that making sense? Probably not. That's that. That's all I'm doing. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It's not... I just... Uh, If you watch the proper tutorial video, if you find that works easier for you, brilliant. That's all that matters, as long as it works for you. Uh, what might be a good idea is, and I don't know if I've got anything in the shed with me here. Uh, I do actually. I'm just going to soak this a wee bit. A mess, uh, and it just makes it easier to push that down and keep it nice and neat and tidy. Yeah, 
There you go. Now, I can't stress enough. Remember, do not wedge it down there. You do not want to wedge it down there. Um, right, let's see if we can't find a device. Because what we want to do here is see if we've actually got any power going to this. See if it works. That'll do me just now. Right. Okay. Okay, we're all back together here now, so I'm just going to start screwing everything up here and basically build up my tank and hope that I'm putting the right sections together. A clear window in here. And we'll have this section here. Pop this section on. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And finally, the mouthpiece. There we go. All ready to go. Cooking with gas, as they say. Now, let's fill this beastie up. I've got my needle valve tip filler syringe, whatever you want to call it, that came with the kit. Um, and everybody should have one of these bottles lying about anyway. And we're just going to look for the fill valve here. And pop this in. Right, that's us all back together. And there we are, we're sitting on my dingo. All ready to vape. Just slowly filling it up, yeah. Um, now, before I take a vape of this, I, 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 I mean, you see, I'm just pausing and then. The way that I build it's just, my working coil yeah. there we go, is the way that I do it. I, I find saw the air bubble the easiest, uh, way for me shooting up um, there. So for me, that's going to be a may find the way. Uh, that I don't want to try filling it to the absolute maximum. From, you know, uh, on you can Cloud see the have them on the website. Uh, you may find the way um, they do it and that's be easier for you. Uh, try them both, see what really works out. Now. Whatever uh, method you do, the key thing is whatever. do not do wedge the wick down into the bottom. Don't. Uh, you'll block your channels off, which is bad. Uh, the other thing is make sure that you lift the coil off the air hole, and that way you won't be getting any shorts, uh, things like that. Now, see how it vapes. Oh, no, we won't. Screwdriver. Uh, I'm just going to screw this in. A bit more, I think. What does it do for me? Right, let's give this a beat. <sighs> Seriously. Try one of these buggers because they are awesome. Uh, there we are. They're well built, well designed, and they just vape like a dream. Uh, I can't tell you what they'd be like with tobacco flavours, but I can tell you now with 
my grand's vanilla custard, uh, menthols, dessert flavours, sweet flavours, things like that. Oh my, they're just unbeatable in my opinion. Uh, the closest thing you'll get is a dripper. Uh, and Sorry, stop fawning over it. <laughs> uh, right, uh, shall we try this with uh, another drip tip in it? I think we will. So I've not actually put a, an o-ring on this adapter, so I'm just trying this quickly. Uh, so I'll just screw it down just now. I have another drip tip here, which uh, may look familiar to Cloud9 fans, and uh, whistle tip. Outstanding, really is, uh, just outstanding. Um, right, um, other thing just to recap, only use the fill needle that's supplied with the kit. Do not use a metal syringe. Uh, you do not want to damage that filling valve. I dread to think. Uh, just, it's not even worth chancing it. Um, so, um, I'm going to stop because I'll, I'll just uh, keep waffling if I don't stop. Um, and we'll just go back and cover a few details here. Right, 109.95. They're waiting and more coming into stock at Cloud9 Vaping. Uh, you can get them from the German site, and I think you can get them from the Russian site as well. Um, just do a search for KFUN uh, on Google. You'll find the sites. Um, showed you everything that came with the kit. And remember, you get a ceramic finish, a satin finish, and a brushed finish. Um, it's a bottom-fed silica wick rebuildable atomizer. Stainless steel. Uh, juice capacity is 4.5 mils, as you see it now. Okay, but you can extend that up to 15. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, they do have uh, on the site Cloud9. They do sell the big clear tank as well just now um, and, and that's really it uh, right that's all the facts figures and, and things like that uh, the clear tank is 1595 just point that out uh, now whilst everything is sunny shiny and beautiful in the world of k and Todd is a happy bunny couple of things to point out. This kit does not come with a bottle, okay? It just comes with the needle valve. It does not come with the bottles. Um, you do not get any silica wick with this. You do not get any cantho wire. Don't get anything like that. It's not a, a starter kit as such. Um, when I bought the version 3 in the past from uh, Russia, it did. It came as a kit. Um, and it had everything in it to start but if you're going to buy one of these remember that it doesn't come with all the bits and bobs you need to get started you will need silica wick you will need cantho you will need a filling bottle so these are things to bear in mind um, other than that I can't really say any more because I, I am a K fun fanboy and that may, in certain circumstances, maybe think, well, I'm being a bit biased. Believe me, I have nothing bad to say about this at all. Uh, because it fits flush. Uh, I can adjust the draw. Uh, it's not leaking. Uh, I always fill it upside down. Uh, when I'm filling with the bottle, I always fill it upside down. Um, I'm not getting any juice coming out the top. 
And the great thing about the K-Fun is you can leave it lying on its side and it will not leak. Um, it's just a, a first-rate rebuildable atomizer if you like silica. If you don't like silica, I have seen people saying that you can, you know, somebody posted a photo of a stainless steel mesh in it. By all means, try it out. Uh, <laughs> nothing's impossible in this game. Uh, right. Sorry for the bit of the camera work, uh, up close stuff and whatnot. Uh, just me. But uh, I'm going to stop there. I uh, want to thank Lisa and Keith once again for uh, keeping us updated and for handling the, the sale of this so well. And uh, they will have some more in next week, but you will have to sign up to the newsletter to buy one because uh, they handle it. That's how they process it. Uh, so I'm away for a vape fest here and uh, we'll catch up soon. All the best, guys. Bye.